who is the president, their fellow Toastmasters, a great corporation of Toastmasters and guests. You know, I really enjoy this mania, interpreting reading. But the difficulty about each its project is to find something exciting to present. It's not as easy as it might appear. This time, I composed, extracted my monodrama from Mark Twain's humorous and touching story. Why, why Mark Twain? You'll get it later. But now, please, raise your hands who managed to read not only Tom Sawyer and Hackleberry Finn, but also the diaries of Adam and Eve. <laughs> Bravo, Mr. President. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Those who did not read it, I'll tell you something about Eve. Though I'm not sure that our modern ladies will share all her feelings and thoughts. Here you are. such as it is. He is as God made him, and that's efficient. It's not on account of his gracious and delicacies that I love him. No, he has legs in this regard, but he's well enough, just so, and is improving. It's not on account of his industry that I love him. I think he has it in him, and I don't know why he conceals it from me. It's my only pain. Otherwise, he's open and frank with me. I'm sure he keeps nothing from me but this. It grieves me. It, had, it, it should have a secret from me. Sometimes it spoils my sleep just thinking of it. But I'll put it out of my mind, and it shall not trouble my happiness. It's not on account of his education that I love him. He's self-educated and does know a multitude of things. 
but no, it is not for that. Then why it is that I love you? Really? Because he is masculine, I think. At the bottom, he is good, and I love him for that. But I could love him without this. If he should beat me or abuse me, I should go on loving him. I know it. That's a matter of sex, I guess. He is strong and handsome, and I love him. And I admire him, and I'm proud of him. But I could love him without those qualities. If he were plain, I'd love him. If he were a wreck, I'd love him. And I would work for him, and pray for him, and watch by his bedside until I died. Yes, I think I love him. Me because he's mine and masculine. There is no other reason, I guess. And so I think that this kind of love is not a product of reasoning or something, uh, something else like this. No, it just comes. None knows when and cannot explain itself. It does not need to. It is so, I think. But I'm only a girl, and it may turn out that in my ignorance and inexperience, I haven't got it right. It's my prayer that we may go through our life together. But if one of, my, of us must go first, it's my prayer that it shall be I. For He's strong, I'm weak. I'm not so necessary to him as he is to me. Life without him wouldn't be life. How could I endure it? Yeah.